What up, what up, folks? What's going on? Welcome to episode number 37 of the Spunt Today podcast. I'm your host, Tony Ortiz. Thank you very much for listening. This is going to be uh, probably a pretty short episode. I have pretty much one thing to cover on in the intro. And if you guys noticed by the title, this is one of the audiobook podcasts where I feature a short story that I've written. And I do my best to try to make it into a professional sounding audiobook with um, uh, background noise and, you know, ambient noises and music and whatever sounds I feel would enhance the experience of the story and make you kind of feel like you're Randy and Ralphie sitting in front of the radio listening to little orphan Annie or something like that and trying to make it, you know, the podcast, uh, pop out and come to life for you a bit. Um, so speaking of Christmas, I hope everybody had a good one. I'm recording this intro right now on December 28th, Monday. Um, hope you guys had a Happy and healthy Christmas and um, Hanukkah and Festivus and whatever else it is that you guys celebrate around this time uh, with uh, your families and loved ones and whoever you wanted to be spending it with. If I sound clearer and sharper and more awesomer, that's because I'm speaking to you from a new microphone. Thanks, babe, for the Christmas gift. Uh, Sure, SM58 that I wanted. And if I sound the same, then I guess I've been doing a pretty good job in post-production with Levelator and playing around with the the sound mixer and shit. But either way, um, welcome to the episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I haven't put an audiobook out in a minute. And this one was kind of like impromptu. Um, it's a short story, like I said, um, like a micro story. It should be. It's like really short. It's uh, about a thousand words, uh, just shy of it, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And it's the quickest short story that I've ever written, uh, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but the uh, I started writing it on Christmas, actually on the 25th. I got the idea for it sometime during that week when I went out to lunch uh, by my job. And um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I was uh, at Smash Burger by my job and um it was my second time there it's not that good not that i I hadn't heard of it before i went to it once like when it opened up it opened up like around my job i hadn't been back to it since went back and first time i had a uh, like an avocado burger or something like that it was decent um one of my girl actually she met me by my job and um they have some some fries that are that are pretty good that i like they have it's called smash fries and they are like fries with olive oil and basil or something like that or rosemary or something it has like some like green shit like sprinkled like all over it and uh like olive oil drizzled on it or whatever which is not the healthiest thing in the world but tastes pretty good but the burger wasn't all that this last time i had a chicken sandwich and it wasn't all that either so whatever anyway i got the idea for this story while i was there and started writing it that friday and today's Monday, and it's already done, edited on the website, and I'm obviously re- uh, recording the audiobook for it. I just finished recording the audiobook, actually. I gotta, now after I record the intro and outro, edit it and shit like that. But before I get to that, I want to tell you guys, like I mentioned a couple weeks ago, about the book that I was writing. It is officially now available. You guys can check it out. Uh, either through my website at spuntoday.com forward slash books or just uh, Google the title or my name or on Amazon uh, is where you'll readily find it. And uh, the title of the book is Make Way For You, subtitled Tips For Getting Out Of Your Own Way. And like I told you guys a bit about it before last time, it is very similar to almost identical to um, some of the comprised of some of the uh, free writing posts that I've read to you guys in the past uh, on this podcast. And what I did for the book, because like I said, I wanted to learn more about the 
uh, how self-publishing worked and learn like the ins and outs of it. And I think it's something that you don't really, you're going to get so far by, you know, reading articles and watching videos on how to do it and stuff like that. Then you get like another added layer to that. That's all a billion percent helpful and useful. And, and it's where I would recommend everybody to start, you know, researching about it. Uh, but you get a little, you get that last final layer of certain insights into it by actually doing it. And I didn't want to put out um, something that I wouldn't be proud of, especially, you know, not just because it's my first um, or not just because it's a published work, but because it's my first published work. And um, it's something I want to look back on and, and be proud of, even though I'll probably look back on it in a few years and be like, God damn, that's shitty writing. But um, I would be happy if that's the case, because that means that I would be getting better, right? Which is the idea with this type of stuff, with honing and shaping and bettering your craft. And so my first idea for f- that I thought, the first thing that I thought I would publish would be a collection of short stories. And I didn't want to like rush, you know, just throwing out a few short stories and, you know, putting out like a, a 10 page book or something like that. Uh, just to learn the process. I didn't want it to be crap. Right. This coming from the guy that just wrote a short story in fucking three days, but <laughs> I didn't, um, I didn't want that, that to be the case. And at the same time, I, I want to learn how the, how the process works. And I got the idea to, um, to go through my free writing because I have notebooks full of like this free writing stuff. The stuff that you guys see on the website, sponsor.com forward slash free writing is uh, just some of it. It's like tip of the iceberg of it. I have notebooks full of free writing um, uh, pieces. And I started going through, uh, I got the idea to see if I can put together some sort of themed book comprised of all the free writing pieces. And like you guys know, most of the free writing stuff, it, it's like insightful stuff and, and, and uh, motivational and inspirational. And it's usually written towards myself. It's like very like cathartic and therapeutic for me to do, which is why I love doing it. And I've learned a lot about myself by practicing that. And I felt that that coupled with other things like reading and listening to podcasts and stuff like that, I've kind of come into my own, so to speak. And, you know, the podcasting, of course, obviously. And um, it's that was definitely a tool that got me to where... I am, you know, not that I'm anywhere special or anything like that, but I'm much happier with myself and uh, I'm in a good place in my life. Um, and I, you know, when going through through the notebooks um, that, you know, are up to, I believe, th- go back three years, um, when I first started uh, putting them into actual notebooks and stuff like that, and keeping them like in a central central place, I started seeing that through line of motivational and inspirational uh, type of stuff, and you know, uh, get up and you know, giving myself a kick in the ass every every once in a while, and I see that through line, and it's something that um, I had enough. I felt to you know go through again, um, slightly edit for. You know, obviously for um, grammatical errors and and just for for shaping the context a little bit more. Um, and it's seventy four different. I'm sorry, it was seventy four. It's seventy two different pieces. Um, and, and I'll give you guys a little quick tangent of why I went down to seventy two from seventy four. It was seventy four, and it, it was I don't know. I'm weird with like numbers and wanting them to like mean something. And, and, um, I landed on 72. I removed two that I was kind of like forcing into the, the narrative of, of, uh, what the book is supposed to be. 
Um, so I shaved off those two and landed on 72, which I was happy with because that's, uh, according to Graham Hancock and his latest, um, his latest book, the, his first one was Fingerprints of the Gods. And now he just came out with another one recently. I forgot what, the title of it, the title of it. But according to him and his, you know, not according to him, but something that I heard him speak of was that there are 72 uh, dimensions in the universe or in the planet or something like that, or realms, 72 realms and 72, the number 72 um, has some sort of universal and historic significance when it comes to realms and dimensions and solstices and equinoxes and a whole bunch of other shit that I don't know how to, how to properly explain. So look it up if you guys want to. And, um, so I landed on that. And so it's seven, the book is comprised of 72 individual pieces that, are uh, have a, that through line of motivation and inspiration and just getting out of your own way, which is the subtitle tips for getting out of your own way. And it's modeled after Stephen Pressfield's The War of Art, which is uh, written in a similar style. I borrowed that from, from him. And my hope, honestly, is that it could, you know, if it one person reads it and, you know, one passage in there happens to spark some form of inspiration in them that, that gives them that kick in the ass that they need to, you know, get up and do what it is that they want to do, then that's the purpose of it. Then it's met and fulfilled its purpose. And it's already done that with me. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And like I said, it's available, the ebook right now, right now on December 28th is 2015 is available for free uh, for all Kindle Unlimited subscribers. So if you have... I think if you just have like Amazon Prime, it's free for you. Um, but Kindle Unlimited subscribers, um, you can download it for free. All I ask is that you please review it. Let me know what you think, um, preferably a five-star review. And then separately email me and tell me if you think it's shitty and, and stuff like that. But hook it up with the five-star review. <laughs> and um, aside from that, it's uh, for any other, if you you know if you don't have that Kindle Unlimited thing, it's just $3.99. Uh, for any of your e-readers, you know, iBooks, your iPhones, your... Oh, on the iPhone, um, you can just download a free Kindle app if you want. And then, you know, download it onto there. So, uh, it's very compatible with that. Or it does work with iBooks, which is already on your phones. Um, and, you know, any of the other phones that you have and stuff like that. So, I'm sure you know what the e-readers are for that. If not, just download the free Kindle app, which I'm sure is free for all of your phones. And... The paperback, I am waiting for the proof of it, um, which is should be coming any day now. And then once I approve that, it's going to be ready um, and available for purchase uh, through Amazon as well at a price point of $8.99 US dollars uh, for you guys to check out if you so choose. And um, that'll be available probably by the second week in January. Uh, if I don't have to make like any too many edits or anything like that. Um, but yeah, first or second week in January, uh, the paperback copy is going to be available. So again, guys, you can find the book at splintsay.com forward slash books or just Google or check on Amazon. Uh, the title of it is Make Way For You, Tips For Getting Out Of Your Own Way and written by yours truly, Tony Ortiz. And I thank you guys in advance for checking it out. And for hooking it up with that Amazon review. Oh, and you can share that shit for free, like with any anybody that you guys want. I think it, it like the Kindle library store or whatever allows for that. Um, so you guys can do that as well. And now with that said and with that out of the way, here is the audiobook version of the short story Fly which you can read along with if you so choose, or you can uh, just check out and read later on at spuntoday.com forward slash short stories forward slash fly. Fly by Tony Ortiz. Written December 28th, 2015. Hello? 
Oh, hi, Miguel. Why are you calling me blocked? Because I'm not at my desk. Some people have lunch at work, you know. Yeah. Yes, I said. I'm with Maritza. Okay. I have to stay a little later again today. Why are you whatevering me? Should I just quit my job? Are you going to pay all the bills? I didn't think so. I am doing what I got to do. Okay, bye. Oh, so I'm a girl now? To him, everybody better be a girl. Trust me. I'm not in the mood for his shit right now. What are you in the mood for? Well, you heard what I said. I'm working late, right? Good answer. We'll relieve all that stress a little later, sweetheart. I'll call for a reservation now. Don't use that same place as last week. Those sheets were so uncomfortable. I can leave today around... Bro, if this deal goes through, we are set. Do you know how big an investment from them will be? I know, man. I don't want to jinx it, but I think... Next online, can I take your order? <sighs> I'm so sick of this guy. I don't think I've ever heard a positive thing about him. I don't get how he still gets to manage. You're lucky he hasn't worked with your department yet. If he knew what he was doing, I'd be fine with it all too. And I heard he acts like he knows it all too. That's what I'm saying. Dude, just admit when you don't know something. That makes us not want to deal with your smug ass. Tell me about it. I can't work with people. Tracy, where's order number 57, please? Mike, when you see three like this on the screen, you know they're to stay orders. So you can prep the three trays now with the lining and set them up here before the food is even. You guys going to eighth period? Nah, fuck that. I didn't do Mr. Fox's homework anyways. I'm down to chill. I don't feel like going back today. I'll chill for 8th too, but I got a trig test 9th. Pussy. Fuck trig. What do you need that for? Yeah, yeah. So I can get the fuck out of school, man. I don't want to wind up working in a place like this forever. Here's your change. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. What time you get off today? What? What time you get off today, beautiful? So I can come pick you up. Uh, 5.30, but I don't need you to pick me up. Next online, please. I'm not moving until you say yes to me. You crazy. The people in line are going to kill you. You worth dying for. Oh my God, I can't with you. You're crazy. Just give me your number real quick and I'll be on my way. Okay, but only so you move and don't hold on my line. 917-643. Excuse me, do you know how much longer it's going to be? I only have a half hour lunch break. What's your order number? 51. Did they forget? No, it should just be a couple of minutes. Come on, man. It's been 13 already. It'll just be a couple more minutes, ma'am. I'm sorry. We'll give you... Danielito, comase todas sus papas. Ya me comí mucho, mami. Después del Freedom Tower y el Museo de la Torre Gemelas, ¿para dónde quieren ir? Vamos a la tienda de juguetes. ¿Qué juguetes ni juguetes? Comase su almuerzo. Vamos a la Estatua de Libertad o a la Empire State Building, que queda por ahí también. Next online, can I take your order? Uh, I'm not looking at you dudes, I'm looking past you I thought I told you cats, I'm not a rapper Q 
can I live? I told you 96 that I came to take this shit and I did. Handle my biz, scramble like Randall with his. My bad, yeah. Let me get a. Order number 51. Here you go, ma'am. We're really sorry for the delay. Here's a $5 coupon for your next visit. I can't come back here. I don't have time to eat in this place. We need bread at home, right? Nah, I got some after my jog this morning. Okay, nice. I was going to say we could swing by the bodega after the movie. One step ahead of you, boo. Here, try my milkshake. It's... This burger sucks, man. Yeah, it's not that great. We have to try a different spot and mix it up a bit. Yeah. It's crazy how hot it is today too, right? Have you seen all the people on Instagram and Facebook with pics of them in their shorts and tees and shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hashtag short sleeve December or something like that. Yeah, they went a touch too far with the shorts though. Watch it be snowing in April now. Fucking climate is all out of whack. Here's your order, sir. Enjoy and have a great day. Thanks, you too, boss. And that's it, folks. That's the story. You guys think the fly died at the end? I do. So, yeah, like I told you guys, the I got the idea for the story when I was at the... Um, uh, this burger joint by my job, and I was just standing around, people watching, and and we kind of lose. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm fucking nuts. But everybody feels like they are like in the Truman Show. Like the world revolves around them, and sometime before you die, the veil's gonna lift, and everybody's gonna pop out and say, "Ha, ah, you were on TV the whole time," or "We got you," or whatever. And there's an innate self-centered part to all of us, I think, that have at one point or another thought that or somewhere within the realm of that possibility. And I think it's important to notice and realize and kind of like take a step back and outside of yourself, for lack of a better term, every once in a while and realize that everybody around you has their own shit going on, you know? I mean, I know we know that, uh, like, peripherally. We know that intellectually, but really get that. And and try to empathize with the fact that people have their own shit going on, their own problems, their own goals, their own achievements, their own sadness and issues and trials and tribulations and and happy moments and sad moments and and the everything that you go through other people go through their versions of and um i think it's important sometimes to take that step back and realize that and not only while you're people watching with strangers in a random burger joint in the city but with your family and your loved ones and the people that you care about that are around you take it upon yourself to show that much more interest in their lives and the shit that they're going through and be there for them and hope that you get the same in return and understand that when you don't it's most likely because they're just going through their own shit and yeah i guess that's like the underlying premise of the story you know everybody has their own little world going on and i hope you guys liked it and if you didn't then you didn't (laughs) uh let me know what you guys think as always you can check out the short story at spuntray.com forward slash short story forward slash fly and you can write comments on there you can share it uh you can email me at spuntray at gmail.com and uh that's pretty much it fellas and girls and ladies and gentlemen that is the episode 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. And to just uh, beat a dead horse real quick and give myself a shameless plug in case I did not sell you with the my first ever publication that I hope you guys check out. I'm going to read you guys the back blurb that I wrote for the book. See if this entices you a little bit. Ahem. <clears throat> you are all the self-help that you need. That's right. You're powerful beyond belief and simply need to realize it. I won't say that this book will instantly unlock all of your mental shackles. That's way too much responsibility for me. But it will surely help you find the keys. You have to be the one to decide to use them or not. Free writing is the cathartic release that comes with writing in a flow state. When you're in the zone, jotting down everything and anything that comes to mind, you'll be surprised how insightful this practice could be. This is the first volume in a collection of freely written thoughts that helped me get through some of my own personal barriers and bullshit. My hope is that they can help you in a similar way. Let's get to a place where we can substitute the mysticism with hard work and start taking steps in the general direction of our dreams. Here's to all of those dormant creators out there. Boom, bitches, $3.99. Pick it up, Amazon.com. Make way for you. And I hope you guys have an awesome new year. And um, you guys all know where to find me by this point. Spuntoday.com is our website. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at, at Spuntoday. Uh, check out the Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Spuntoday. Sign up to my newsletter on my website. Listen to this podcast either on Tumblr, on YouTube, on Stitcher, on iTunes, or your favorite podcatcher, on uh, Pocket Cast, whatever you, wherever you want to listen. Or on my website too, by the way. All these episodes are on my website under the podcast tab with all the the episode notes and links that I mentioned in the episode or different songs that I play and shit like that, which leads me to the song that I'm going to end this episode with to, since it's the last episode of the year, it's the new year's episode. It comes out on the 31st. Um, and I had planned, I don't know where I got the idea, but it's a song that I've always liked since I was a little kid. And it's like a Christmassy, um, Spanish song. It's called Mi Bujrito Sabanero. And, um, uh, it's just a, a cool tune to listen to. It gets you in a good mood listening to it. Probably if you don't even understand the language, you, it will put you in that, um, happy Christmassy mood, which why the fuck not be in that mood, right? And it's a, Mi Burrito Sabanero a Camino de Belén is pretty much translates into um, I'm on my little small donkey on the path to Bethlehem. And I hope you guys enjoy it. That's what we're taking you out with this time. And I will check all you motherfuckers out in 2016. May you have a happy and prosperous new year. Be safe, have fun, and enjoy time with your family. As usual, substitute the mysticism with hard work and start taking steps in the general direction of your dreams. Thanks for listening. <laughs>